Half a day is on Tiro. My name is Filomena Leonisa Tapuayalupe Yacopo. I am an athlete from American Samoa. I compete in the 100 meter and 200 meters, and I will be competing in the Olympics located in Paris, France. All right, congratulations. And so tell us a little bit about how you've been preparing and a little bit about your uh, history in the sport because you've been a lifelong athlete, right? Yes, for sure. Um, ever since I was young, I've always dreamt of becoming an Olympian. And throughout my whole life, it has always been instilled to be healthy, um, as well with sports. Um, and it took a very long journey to get here. I first started competing um, seriously when I was 16 years old back in 2022 with my first international competition, the Oceania Athletics Championships located in Australia. And then after I competed in the Pacific Mini Games that was held here on Saipan, um, I also competed in the Oceania Cup, the Pacific Games that was last year in Solomon Islands. And I also competed in the World Athletics Championships, indoor championships, uh, located in Glasgow, Scotland. Wow, and so how old are you? I'm 18. Okay, what, what, what makes you want to, uh, you know, compete? Uh, what, what is it about the sport that uh, attracts you to it? Track and field, I really love to say track and field is a lifestyle. Um, I, everything I do is worked around track and field. Um, I love the sport so much because it's an individual sport, so everything that you do, it reflects on your performance, on the hard work that you put in, um, and there's so much that goes into it, like eating right, making sure that I sleep on time, um, and it's also very important to be mentally strong. Um, but I'm so thankful that I have a strong support system from my family members, um, you know, my parents, I would not have be I would not be here without their support and everything that they have sacrificed and done for me to get here. Um, you know, just last year my parents flew in my coach, his name is Peter Pulu. He is from Papua New Guinea and he is currently the one hundred meter record holder for the Pacific. Um, I was coached by him starting last year, so it's been about two years so far. But Ever since I was young and until last year, it was always been my dad who trained me. Um, he was the one that did our workouts together, making sure I'm dieting right and I'm fueling my body, um, resting on time. So, you know, it's it was always been my me and my dad. So I'm really thankful that my parents were able to provide that opportunity to um, bring me to another level with a professional coach. And you just recently graduated uh, high school, right? Yes. Where did you graduate from and what are you up to now? Um, I graduated from Kagman High School. Um, I graduated top 10, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, I am going to Baylor University. I'm, an, I'm going to be majoring in neuroscience. Right. So you're going to be starting your freshman year? At Baylor University. Next yes, next year. Right. But before then, just the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Can you tell me, uh, how did you learn about uh, that you were going to be part of the team? Um, and how did you basically uh, yeah, become part of the team? Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? How did you learn? What did you have to do? So, uh, unfortunately, the CNMI does not have um, an Olympic seat. And... I'm just very blessed that I am not only Chamorro, but I'm also half Samoan. Um, so it was I was very grateful that I was able to represent American Samoa. And it took a lot to get to where I am today. It is not easy. I had to compete multiple times um, to gain points, to clock in respectable times. Um, so yes, I'm just very blessed and thankful that I received this opportunity to represent my country, American Samoa, in the Olympics. All right, and can you tell us a little bit about what the moment means? I understand there's also some sort of history uh, attached to this, right? Yes, um, so I will be the first Chamorro from the Northern Mariana Islands that will be going to the Olympics, and wow, I, no words can truly describe what that means to me. You know, I have so much pride 
that I'm not only representing American Samoa, but I am representing the Sinai, the people of the Sinai. And it means everything to me to represent my home, where I'm born and raised from as well. And I'm just extremely blessed and I'm extremely thankful. All right, the Olympics are in a few weeks, but I understand you're, you'll be leaving Island soon. Uh, so tell us what the next few weeks look like uh, leading up to the actual big day? Yes, so I do leave tomorrow. <laughs> um, I will be um, located in Geneva, France. There will be a training camp there and I will be competing as well in the local meets just to have a build-up competition to my main one um, at the Olympics, so which will be great. I'll be there for a few weeks to continue my training and then August 2nd will be my race day for the 100 meters. And so I want to just ask more of your reflection. It's a huge stage, probably one of the biggest ones you'll race in, right? Yes. Uh, how does it feel personally? I mean, are you nervous? Are you excited? Is it all of it? Yes, I would definitely say everything. Um, I guess the most part with all of these big emotions that I have, I try to remind myself um, that I worked so hard to get to where I am today. It did not come easy. Um, I just need to trust in my training and I need to believe in myself and be proud that I'm not only representing myself, but the whole nation of American Samoa and also representing the CNMI. Um, I'm very, very excited. Wow, sometimes I still not even sometimes, I, every day I can't wrap around my head about the fact that I am going to the Olympics, but I'm extremely grateful and, you know, track and field is an individual sport, but I really will give all my thanks to my family, my parents, my brothers, um, my Mariflow family. I also want to give thanks to my late grandparents, Leonisa Flores Maritita and Mamato Uzoa Maritita, and my adoptive Rafalawash grandparents, um, Angie and Manny Mangarero. I also want to give my thanks, especially to the American Samoa National Olympic Committee, um, the president, um, President Imo, and also the American Samoa Track and Field Association, um, my president and vice president, Don and Diana Fuemoono. I just want to say thank you so much for allowing, for giving me this opportunity to represent our home and our country in the Olympics on the biggest stage. Um, I do not take that lightly. And I also want to give um, my thanks to my partner for, um, his name is Charlie McDonald. I'm very thankful that he has been very supportive of my dreams and of my goals too.